Dog Walker comes across an abandoned pit bull with a strange note on a tree nearby inside a park. Just another day turned into the most unexpected one for Eric Mouse, an animal lover. We all have our escape routes from the daily hectic lives, and for Eric, dogs were his escape. We all remain stuck in our 9-to-5 jobs and in that hustle to excel in our jobs, we often forget what we love doing. But this young lad Eric was not going to give in this trend of the rat race. So he did what he could do to turn his life in a better direction and at that time do what he loves. But who would have thought that one day he'd stumble across a note that would completely change his life? Eric Mouse is a normal Brooklyn resident who works as a full-time screenwriter. But this is not the course of livelihood that Eric chose. This was the only job that he could bag, but he was never satisfied with what he was doing for a livelihood. He wanted to follow his passion and do what he thought he loved. That's a question that almost every animal lover has come across at least once. A person who likes dogs is touted to have characters of dogs, like being overly friendly and social, while the ones who adore cats are known to have the traits of an open-minded person and being more of an introvert. Eric, who was also an animal lover too, had come across this question several times. But Eric had a fixed answer to this never-ending debate. Since his childhood, Eric was a big-time dog lover. During his childhood days, he used to help out the dogs in his neighborhood. But by the time he became an adult, he started maintaining his distance with the dogs. And this was not because his time had reduced because of the love he had for dogs, it was merely because of the problems he was facing in his own life that made him fall apart from something he loved. Due to his problems, he could not take up a dog as a pet and a cherry on the top of all of this was his financial condition, as he was not in a condition to take care of a pet. And while all this was happening, he took up the job of a screenwriter for a living. Eric was frustrated by the fact that he couldn't carry out his passion. The love for dogs is his daily living. So one day he decided that while he continued to be a full-time screenwriter, he'd also start working as a part-time dog walker. One fine Monday morning, Eric decided to take two of his clients for a stroll. Since the day he'd started working as a dog walker, Eric started to feel contentment. He felt as if he was doing something worthwhile, and this was something he wasn't getting from his screenwriting job. Gouda and Lily, these were the names of the clients that he'd taken for a stroll on that particular Monday morning. Gouda and Lily were two of Eric's favorite clients. Whenever he got a chance to take these two on a walk, he was delighted, because Lily and Gouda were two sweethearts who loved everyone, even strangers. But when Eric picked up Gouda and Lily for a stroll, he would have never thought that he'd come across something that will leave a mark on his life forever. Eric took both of his clients for a stroll to Prospect Park that was longer than the daily routine he had set for his clients. So now that Eric had taken up the job of dog walker, he thought of taking Gouda and Lily for a professional stroll. He was now pursuing his passion for helping dogs in a professional capacity, so he took them both to Prospect Park. Eric would have never thought that Monday was going to be any different than his normal days, but he couldn't have been more wrong. He never thought that he'd come across something that he's going to change his life forever. Eric, while strolling the park with Lily and Gouda, saw something that was tied to the tree. He couldn't confirm what it was because he was far away from it, but when he came close to the tree, he was shocked to see what was tied to it. When Eric came close to the tree, he was shocked and couldn't believe his eyes. He found himself face to face with a chubby pit bull. He never thought that he'd stumble across a pit bull in a park. When I was walking up to the waterfall across the bridge, I saw this really big chubby pit bull tied to the tree, said Eric in an interview. As soon as Eric came across the pit bull, the first thing that crossed his mind was, where are his parents? Eric, who was always passionate about helping dogs, was terrified at the thought of the dog being alone in the park. Eric wasn't sure about what was going on and was doubtful about the surroundings. Was this pit bull on his own? Where were his parents? These were the thoughts that were running constantly in Eric's mind. He was concerned about the pooch. He'd always loved dogs and he didn't want something bad to happen to this dog. Eric had no clue as to what he should do next. He was getting anxious about where the dog's parents were. I looked around and I called to her, hey, where's your owner? He wasn't sure what to do and called out and hoped that someone was nearby. One thing that Eric was sure about at this point was that there was no one near her. And the other thing he kept on his mind was he couldn't leave this pooch alone in a place like that. He knew this was no safe place for her to be alone. When Eric reached all the conclusions, he thought he had no other option and he started approaching the dog. 
Prospect Park isn't a good spot for a dog to be alone, said Mouse in an interview. Eric thought that the only option he had was to go near the dog. Eric was scared for the dog as well as for himself as he started to approach. The thing that scared Eric like anything was the fact that he had two dogs along with him. Was it Eric's foolhardiness that made him walk towards that dog along with the companions he had? Although there are many myths relating to Pitbull's aggressive nature, it's very unlikely that a Pitbull will attack anyone if it's properly bred and hasn't been trained. But when Eric started approaching the pooch, she didn't move an inch. When Eric came across the pooch, he noticed that she was tied to a tree, but there was something else, something odd about the surroundings that he didn't notice at first but afterwards. The tree to which the pooch was tied to had something that was hanging from it. Eric found that there was a note that was hanging from the tree that had something inscribed in Sharpie. The note that was hanging from the tree had details about the pooch, and it made one thing for certain, that whoever left that pooch had no other option. The note stated, Take me home. I'm a great dog. I'm seven years old. Don't let my size scare you. I'm sweet. It was pretty clear to Eric that the pooch was quite friendly as it didn't move when he tried to approach her. But Eric still couldn't figure out many things. Eric couldn't understand why someone would leave such a lovely and adorable dog all by herself in a place that isn't safe. And at this point, Eric understood that whoever might have left her there might have given her a chance of getting help. He could see that the owner cared about the pooch, but he wasn't sure if it was a good idea to leave him alone in the park tied to a tree. Anyone could have taken her along with them, and when all the thoughts settled in his mind, he started to think of what should be done next. The Pitbull was being so sweet and so gentle, said Eric in his interview. She was just laying there, tongue out. So cute. One thing that Eric was now sure about was that the pooch was abandoned, and he had to do something to help. Deserted all alone in the park, Eric was not able to think about what he should do next. Should he call the authorities or should he walk away as nothing happened or he didn't see anything? But Eric wasn't someone who'd run away from a problem like that. People blame social media for lots of things, but the reality is that social media can be really helpful if used properly, and this case was going to prove the same. When Eric was unable to think of anything, he devised a proper way of finding a solution. Social media became a lifesaver here. Eric at once took out his phone and took a picture of Mamas and the note that was hanging next to her on the tree. After taking pictures of Mamas, Eric posted the same on Facebook. He started asking advice on social media platform in order to find help. Found this dog tied to the tree near the boathouse in Prospect Park, Eric posted on Facebook and expected people to help him with the situation. And his expectations were met by people soon. People started contacting him immediately. Eric explained almost everything on his Facebook post. There's a note on the tree that says, take him. Who do we call? And within a matter of minutes, people started contacting him. Mouse received a message and the person asked him to wait at the same spot for some time. A person came to meet Eric and the pooch after a few moments. The person inquired about everything that was happening and the pooch from Eric. And after getting a brief explanation of what was happening, the guy called for a car outside the park and helped them with transport. The person who came to help out Eric and Mamas was now taking them somewhere safe. The person took Eric, Mamas, and the two clients Eric brought with him to Sean Casey Animal Rescue, a shelter that could find a spot for Mamas and was near the park. Eric and the person that helped him were about to experience one of the greatest transformations they were ever to witness. As soon as Mamas got into the car, she was a different dog altogether. She was a bit slow and the reason was still unknown. On seeing this huge transformation, Eric's fears started vanishing. As soon as Mama saw the car, she started becoming less hesitant. This indicated she knew she was safe now and she didn't need to worry. And this resulted in Eric being relaxed and happy. When we took her out of the car, it seemed like she was ready. Not only was she ready, but she basically jumped out of the car, which was a really good sign. She knew that she was safe. And at that point, the person accompanying them and Eric's tensions were relieved. But Eric didn't know what was going to happen next. Casey, the founder and owner of the nonprofit organization, explained, This dog was incredibly lucky. Casey believes that Eric came as an angel in the life of Mamas who will be examined for any kind of disease or illness. Then Casey gave a very shocking statement. We receive several calls a week for dogs that have been tied out here or cats left in boxes. According to Casey, this is only one of the many cases that come to the light. There are many cases in which no one bothers like Eric did and people usually turn their backs on situations like these. Eric Mouse, the unsung hero of this situation, always thought that it might be financial or some personal problem of the owner, because of which he might have left him in the park all alone. 
and on that point Eric had forgotten that person, because Eric had also not taken up a pet due to his financial problem, and he could understand the situation. The fact for which Eric was thankful to the previous owner was that he tied the note right next to the boot, which helped Eric understand the whole situation and take proper and required actions. Casey also praised Eric for his commendable act of bravery. The owner tied her alone in the park so that she could have a better life, but what he was unaware of was the fact that this act could have made the situation a lot worse. Vets had some serious concerns about Mamas' health. According to the vets, Mamas had a bladder infection and that was the only medical problem she had. The vets added that she needed to lose some pounds though. This was one of the problems because of which she was walking very slowly when she first met Eric. The vets also informed that Mamas hadn't been spayed and that was also needed to be taken care of once the bladder infection was treated. The vets claimed that the pooch would be up for adoption within a week after the surgery, but that wasn't the end for Mamas. In the meantime, Mamas became quite famous and it was all possible because of the social media post and the local news. Mamas is happy about the new journey she's about to begin and would be really thankful to Eric and everyone who rescued her. One of the spokespeople at the shelter reported that Mamas is settling in well and she likes everybody and everything. Meanwhile, Eric is confident about the fact that the pooch is going to find a new family soon and they'd be equally happy to have her. Till the time she finds a family, she's glad that she's out of that park and amongst people like Eric. Mamas is a total sweetheart with big brown doughy eyes, Mouse said in an interview. He added, she's just a happy dog. She might look scary in the first place, but she isn't. She's big and chubby and so's her heart. And now because of her rescuers, she seems to have a bright future waiting her. According to Casey, many owners can't afford to take care of their dogs, but this isn't the problem that the guys face. The main problem that is faced on a daily basis by these local shelters is that people leave these pets away and alone instead of calling the shelter houses for help. Eric recalls that when he was a kid, he had a dog. And he clearly remembers that when they had to get a dog, Eric accompanied his parents to the place from where they'd adopted the dog. Eric stated that people should try to take the help of these shelter homes when facing problems with pets. In an interview, Eric said, I would have loved to adopt mamas, but unfortunately, my living situation can't allow for it. He further added, it's moments like these where I want to raise awareness about adopting rather than buying your next dog or cat. Adopted pets are the most loving ones there are. Less than a month after this incident, Mamas at the shelter got a separate kennel. But this wasn't the only good news Sean had for the pooch. Sean further told that someone had adopted Mamas and was waiting for her to get spayed so that she could get into her new home.